hey guys um okay i wanted to make this quick video um because um i'm sorry you guys today's just a really sad day i i have received so much bad news today on face on facebook is not even funny i mean um i sent my son off to school um this morning and um it was very rainy outside like it had been raining all night last night since like three or four in the morning all the way through this morning and um so I sent my son off to school and it was just so dark in here and I just like I wanted to stay in bed all morning and just like sleep sleep through it I, I love sleeping through the rain but for some reason I just I, I couldn't sleep and um i went on facebook um just to check you know my um to check my mail and and to look through the news feed and um i saw that um one of my friends from high school lost um her mother-in-law recently um and i also saw that um from the TTC community, Courtney Pumpkin Pie Baby. Um, her baby Jude was diagnosed with um, cancer. He um, he went in for an MRI and um, I think he had a mass in his back or something. And um, Courtney had posted it on, on Facebook, but I hadn't seen it. I guess I missed it. Um, so I found out through another TTC lady who posted it today on the news feed and you guys don't understand how much my heart is just crushed right now and broken for Courtney and her family. Um, I have always felt like a special kind of bond towards Courtney, not only cause she has my same beliefs, um, but she, she, she just seems like such a wonderful person with such a kind and good heart. And, you know, her, her, her family, I've been following her on YouTube for a while. And her family seems like her, her husband, her baby is just such a beautiful family. And um, at first when I heard the news, I just had no words whatsoever to say to her and I don't even have words to describe what I'm feeling um it's weird because like I don't know her personally I've never seen her in person but like I said I just feel this special bond and connection with her and um regardless she is a sister in Christ so maybe that's the special bond that I feel towards her but my heart just breaks for her. My heart aches so much that, I mean, I can't even describe it. Um, as soon as I heard the news, I went to her page and um, I just started praying. I looked through her pictures and the pictures of her precious little Jude. And he's just such a beautiful baby. Um... His eyes just shine so glorious. I mean, and I just prayed. I prayed for him and I prayed for his family. So, um, this is a really hard video for me to make, um, because it has affected me greatly. Like, you guys don't understand how crushed I am because of all this. Um, but I also, I also know that God is in control and he has the situation in his hands. And I wanted to, spe I wanted to send a special, uh, a special message out to Courtney. And I wanted to tell you, Courtney, that please stay strong in the Lord. I cannot even begin to imagine what you are feeling right now, what you're going through. I know this is a very um, 
tough moment in your life. But um, I know in my heart that Jude is going to make it through. Um, sometimes we don't understand God's ways. Um, and sometimes it could be <clears throat> really hard to understand, especially when we serve him. And um, we devote our lives to his ministry. And, you know, sometimes things go wrong and we can't understand why. Um, I'm sorry, you guys, I'm trying to compose myself here. Um, but I wanted to say to you, Courtney, um, stay strong. Because maybe this is a test that you have to endure to make you stronger but you are going to come out of this stronger than ever and God is going to use you for his glory he has been already using you and your husband Garrett um, through that wonderful channel that you guys opened up for the glory of God which is a uh, fight for purity and um, as soon as you announce that channel you said you started losing friends, but I subscribed right away because I believe in the cause that you guys are fighting for. And I'm a strong believer <clears throat> in everything that you guys um, believe and in everything that you guys stand for. So I know that when you're working hard for the Lord, the devil will attack you through any way possible through any means and he always tries to attack what you love most but guess what Jude does not belong to him Jude belongs to the Lord because the Lord gave him to you he is a gift from above and I know how much you went through to have that baby and I know that that baby is blessed and I know that God has his hand over him and I know that God will heal him I declare it in Jesus' name that Jude will be healed 100% and that cancer is going to disappear. I just <clears throat> hope that you stand strong in your faith and I know that you will pull through this. I know that I have a feeling you and Garrett are a strong couple and I'm sure that you're going to get through this just fine. So please know that I'm here if you ever need anyone to talk to. <laughs> I'm here for you guys, and stay strong, please. Just know that you're in my thoughts and prayers, and I will not stop praying for little Jude until I receive that positive testimony that you're going to give. I know God is going to heal him, and I know you guys are going to get through this just fine. So please do not hesitate to contact me. Um... If you need someone to talk to, I'm here for you. And I know there's probably not any words anyone could say to comfort you at this moment. But please know that it's not over. The doctor does not have the final word. God Almighty does because he is the doctor of all doctors. He is the almighty doctor, the doctor who heals. And remember, he took his burden on that cross upon him so that we may be healed. So please believe. Don't stop believing. And don't stop working for the Lord. Don't stop doing what you're doing. What you started with Garrett, don't stop. Because that's exactly what the devil wants. To not give him the satisfaction of giving up. So please stay strong. Alright guys, that's all I wanted to say for now. Bye.